Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Calafi. I want to show you a really unique little product that we offer called the HydroLink. We talked in another video about um, hydraulic separation. Isn't that a mouthful, hydraulic separation? Lots of times we're just going to abbreviate that and call them hydro separators. We took that a little bit further with this um, package unit that um, I like to refer to this as a primary secondary in a box. And let me show you, we've got a cutaway here that we've colored so you can see what's going on with all the different fluid paths in here. So. I'll start over here on this side. This is where the boiler connection is going to come in, or chiller. It could be used for cold water too, but typically this will be used in a residential application. It's good for about a uh, 100,000 BTU system, so residential, maybe some light commercial applications. So over here is our primary side. So our boiler comes in and goes out here, and this is a little um, primary chamber, let's call it, over here. So this is doing essentially what we do with um, closely spaced T's when we build a primary secondary loop out of uh, copper fittings. Boiler comes in here. There's a couple ports on the top and bottom of this. And what we do here is we put a little air vent. I'll show you when we get to the one I've got assembled over here to my left. But it acts as a little bit of an air separation unit here because as the fluid comes in here, the air, of course, is going to rise up to the high point. So we've got the ability to do a little air removal here. And then on the bottom here on this port, we've got the ability to put a, which it comes with this, by the way, with a, a ball valve that we can screw into there. It's just a, um, a mail by hose ball valve that you can purge out any dirt or anything that might settle to the bottom of that air vent on the top, purge a cock on the bottom of it. All right, so now your fluid's coming in here from your boiler. And now, if you can see that, I don't know, but there's some ports that come across, and let's call this the secondary side of it over here. We've painted it red and blue so we can tell you what's going on here with the, um, the flow coming into that. If I can hold all this, it's a heavy little beast. So let's say the hot water's coming in the top because that's what we've got painted red. So the hot's going to flow in here and now we've got parallel circuits taken off as our secondaries. So now the hot comes in here and the cold returns here and so these are your takeoffs. So now your pumps would mount here or we've got some um, um, hydro mixers I'll show you in a second that connect right onto these ports. So you can see that one of these tubes goes down as the return, the blue one is going down to the return chamber, and the, the red upper chamber is where the uh, supply comes off. So supply, return, supply, return. Um, it comes in three different configurations. This one would, is what we would call to as a two, one, two, plus two. So you've got four takeoffs on this, one uh, input from your boiler circuit over here. So this is the two plus two version of it. I, in fact, I've used these myself. I really like this, uh, this product. Um, it also comes with really nice heavy-duty uh, mounting brackets, like angle, uh, nicely sculptured, I would say, angle mount brackets that you can mount this, hang this right off the wall. So now think about what you're getting here. You're getting primary, secondary, you're getting uh, air elimination, but now you've got a nice starting point to do all your piping. So as you pipe out to your manifolds or remote locations, this is a nice solid mounting block to start all that um, piping from the boiler room. I'll bring another one here. This is um, a different version of that. You can see now we're giving you, uh, this is what we're going to call, where can I put that? It's so heavy. We'll call this the two plus one. So two ports on the bottom, an additional one out the end. The same thing with the uh, primary secondary chamber over here. This one happens to be a one inch connection. The one uh, that I showed you first, the two plus two is an inch and a quarter. Another nice feature of this is we give you a great um, uh, two-piece insulation jacket. It's like a clamshell insulation jacket, so after you get all your piping done, um, you can put that on there to reduce the heat loss. So there's one version of it here. There is one more version, which I don't have here in front of me, running out of counter space, and that's called the three plus one. So I mean, just as the, all the, the names imply, that would be three on one side plus one off the bottom. Same thing, your supply and return comes in the end always. So let me take it a step further. Oh, this is a, the mother of all hydrolinks here. So now what we've done is we've made it convenient for the installer to put down um, our hydro mixers. And so what we have in this one here is we've got the pump. We've got a mixing valve here with a motorized uh, drive on it. You can put a floating 24 volt signal on that, a control, possibly a Tecmar, whatever brand you like for a signal for that. Now that'll modulate and give you a mixed temperature off of this. And we make those with just the right uh, spacing on it so they bolt right up to there. You s uh, put the union halves on there and then you've got these big union nut connections to put that on there. So now you can put multiple ones on here and you could have different uh, mixed temperature zones going out for a radiant job that might require a couple different temperature mix stations. Or you could also take a uh, high temperature loop off of this because the way the flow goes through here that 
every one of these takeoffs is going to receive the exact same temperature fluid going to it. That's what it looks like assembled with the jacket kind of cut away to show you the um, kind of the finished product on that. One more thing, I mean you can flip these over if you would rather have your uh, uh, primary secondary connections on the right or left side. There's no problem with flipping this over and I'm going to take you here behind me and show you one that we've had actually run in in our shop and show you the uh, piping coming in from the other side. So give me a minute here and uh, let's take a walk back to our mechanic room up here at Kalefi in Milwaukee. Now what's nice about this installation here in our, uh, in our headquarters in Milwaukee is when we bring people in to do training and stuff, we can show them one that's actually working and we've got everything labeled. So now you can see your, uh, your supply and return arrows, the red and blue, um, it happens to be running today. You can see what's going on with the, um, we put valves there to isolate all the takeoffs so if you have to service uh, any of the equipment that's connected to this. And then this here again is the um, two plus one where we've got connections going off the end as well and up to our um, panel radiators and our, our radiant zones. And you can see there's an example of what I was talking about, a higher temperature loop. So that's a high temperature going out to our fan coils. There's no mixing device on that loop there. Over here is, um, this actually is one of our other mixing groups that has the um, uh, thermostatic valve on it. So this one you manually adjust and set the temperature, which I just turned, sorry about that guys. And then going out the end here, you can see two pumps um, coming off the end there. And then on the other side, of course, is the supply pump. So that's what it looks like. We left the insulation off so you can see um, better what's going on with that. And this is an example, like I said, where you can flip it over. You notice the label's upside down now because we wanted to bring our primary in the right-hand side there, so we just flipped it over and uh, swapped it that way. So that's the HydroLink product from Kalepi. Very unique, very innovative, makes the job for the installer so much simpler. Takes all the plumbing, all the soldering, all the T's, all the threading out of it. It's just a primary, secondary, in a box. It's a great product.